I am super excited to announce that we have brought back our organic greens. It is bursting with 17 whole organic superfoods and botanicals that are also fermented and sprouted so they're even easier to absorb and loaded with nutrition. Stay tuned for a super fun way to add it to your breakfast. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we have a ton of fun in the kitchen every week creating delicious recipes to support you in feeling your best. Today we're going to be making a nutrient-dense oatmeal. Let's begin by adding one banana to your blender. For a less sweet version, you certainly could use one half of a banana, or you could even substitute it with one half of a cup of your favorite berries, or even a couple of medjool dates. Next, I'm going to add one large handful of organic baby spinach. If you'd like to measure it out, it's about one cup. One scoop of our organic greens, which by the way is third party tested for soy, gluten, GMOs, additives, and preservatives. So just like our clean sourced collagens powder, it's a super clean, nutrient-packed powder. Last, we have one cup of your preferred nut, oat, hemp, or coconut milk. I always like to use a combination of almond and coconut milk in my recipes. Blend up all of your ingredients really well until smooth. Pour into a small saucepan and then add in one half of a cup of gluten-free rolled oats. Bring to a boil and then reduce the heat to low, stirring continuously until you reach your preferred consistency and doneness, anywhere from three to seven minutes. Top with your favorite toppings. I'm going to be using some chopped up walnuts, shredded coconut, and a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, we are ready to give this green, green oatmeal a taste. I think that is delicious. It almost reminds me of some warm banana bread I love the extra crunch. I highly recommend adding in some kind of nuts, like I use the walnuts and the coconut and the cinnamon is absolutely delicious. I was also thinking you could definitely reduce that down to half of a banana and then if it wasn't sweet enough for you, you could add in a little bit of honey or stevia. And if you really want to go low sugar, maybe omit the banana completely and just use stevia to sweeten it up. So any way that you choose to do it, I think you could make it really delicious. It's nice and warming and so nutritious. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, stay well and stay committed to your health goals and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.